Romans chapter 9, King James Version. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not, my conscience, my conscience also bearing the witness in the Holy Ghost, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises, whose are the fathers and of whom, as concerning the flesh, came, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. Not as though the word of God have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, they are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. Not only this, but Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to the election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he said, to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, Even for this purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, Having mercy on whom he will have mercy, on whom he will be hardened. Thou wilt say then unto that unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who have resisted his will? Nay, but O man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall a thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Have not the potter power over the clay? or the same lump to make one vessel unto honour, and another unto dishonour? What if God, willing to show his wrath, and to make his power known, endureth with much long suffering the vessels of wrath, fitted to destruction, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had before prepared unto glory? Even us, whom he have called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles, as he said also into our sea, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, You are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel, that the number of the children be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. And as Isaiah said before, except the Lord of Sabbath had left us a seed, we had been as Sodoma and been made like unto Gomorrah. What shall we say then? Let the Gentiles, which followed not after righteousness, have attained for righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. But Israel, which followeth after the law of righteousness, have not attained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore, because they saw it not by faith, but as it were by works of the law, for they stumbled at that stumbling stone. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone, and the rock of offence, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed.